Hi everyone, my name is Lisa, and last year really brought major changes in my life personally that the Lord really has been uh, just amazing me with. Because first of all, I work full time, and I work in an office with no windows, and also I love, as a part of being in this church, to be involved in go trips and serve, whether it's all over the world or whether it's in a different state or here in the city. And that was so easy until last year, of course. And with starting with my employer, sending as many of us home as they could, and I qualified, so I was able to work from home, which I'm still doing and love. And then the other thing that happened that was actually much harder is that all the ministry trips were canceled. And I was signed up to go to Sierra Leone, and I was very excited about it. And when that happened, it was really just a sense of grief. And I started prayer walking in the neighborhood, um, more of the free time that I now had working at home. And I, I was saying to the Lord, okay, I don't want to feel sorry for myself, but I have to assume that ministry doesn't end here. And I'm just asking that you show me what to do and, and bless my neighbors and, and cause them to see Christ. And then I started praying, Lord, help me to meet people. And I don't know how that would happen because I don't know hardly anybody in my neighborhood. And I decided to start a group and we all love walking and so I started the Urban Walkers of Highlands Ranch. I think it's been maybe 10 to 12 women who's, who showed up. And what I've noticed is that they're looking for friends, they're dealing with health, they're um, just wanting to get rid of stress. And that seemed to be the thing that really drew them. Um, but once again, the camaraderie and the trust and the fun. And so um, I would say that my biggest learning here is that even though I still love doing go trips and I still love going places um, that God really has brought to mind the idea that I need to pray more carefully and more faithfully and more specifically. I don't know the future, I don't even know how long this group will last, um, but what I'm seeing is a continual progression of relationships and people doing one-on-ones and, and, and even just spiritual conversations that happen every now and again. And that even though I didn't feel like I could do that, that it was not up to me, it was up to him. And he did all kinds of things that I wasn't in control of. I didn't know the outcome. And that he really, he really gets the glory.